Hey, what's up? This is Chuck, the public enemy, and you are checking out, or be prepared to check out, Mellow Man Ace, my man, that's right, bringing hip-hop to the masses. you got to check out this show, all right? Stay tuned, keep it locked, all right? Do not move. Yo, MC, there's a new chef in town, you know? His name is Mellow Man Ace. Yo, Cup Master Kurt, Julie James, this is OG Nadal. Mellow Man Ace, LA to the bank. About to kick with the microphone spit like this. I mean, he's truly one of the real guys. Godfather. Hip hop <laughs> legend. Pioneer in the rap game. Well, you're, you're the godfather of Latin rap. That's a so when he said, hey, dog, let's put the band back together, you know what I mean? I knew we were going to have something special. Que fue mi raza, yo soy Send Dog. Y que pasa, aquí está Melo Manage, entre los dos somos los Reyes Brothers. Y aquí estamos en V, L, Zona. No se va a ningún lugar. Vamos. Make a million dollar move. Police clocking what we do. We all kind of crept in after, you know, Prince Marky D. You know, then came Mellow Man Ace and Gerardo and Kid Frost, those three guys. Then eventually us. And his son, Kazal, organizing. Experiences, just finished the high school today, so. You graduated today? Yeah, pretty much. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you, man. Not only is he a rap star, super producer, but he's a high school graduate. Walk in the party and the b-boys stand. And rock on the mic and make the girlies want to dance. All boys up top, top, front to back. Okay, now, now, now before we continue, I just want to explain to everybody. Um, Cause that was your son. Cause that was my son. He's and you guys actually are a group. Well, yeah, because, you know, as myself, I'm myself, and as himself, he's as himself, too. Right. But when we come together to really, you know, to do things, we took a project up to Mike Ross um, at Delicious Vinyl. He was shopping his uh, solo at the restaurant order. No. Mm -hmm. I was shopping something for myself, and he thought it was too grown. And that was when I had done, like, two joints on it. They loved it, but it was, like, way too serious. Right. So before I left the meeting, I dropped him a CD of some stuff me and Kazal had been working on at our home studio. Right. And he goes, yo, what the fuck is this? High school, they signed these digits to a, to a deal. And you know Mike Ross and Rick Ross, they're not cutting checks in December, bro. Right. And they but did. They did. They did. And they did. And they were like, who is the kid? I'm like, that's him. So is he producing and writing or just writing? Both. Uh, I, I consider myself a producer first, though. So, but he's yeah, so you, you're getting your Kanye <laughs> on right now. No, 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 no. Just um, making statements, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's called getting your Kanye on. Like, well, fuck it, because everybody, everybody thought he just produced back in the day. He's like, I'm on the mic, I'm producing. Yeah, like this. a Dilla, you know. Everything that has its own parallel. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the sun, the moon, the yin, the yang, the day, the night, the left, the right, hence the father, the son. Right. You see what I'm saying? And once we did that, it gave it an identity, and we were able to start creating and doing stuff like that. <laughs> My dad brought home a, a bass guitar one day, and I was like 10 or 11. And um, it was when I heard a lot of the work that my parents had played for me growing up. Life is bigger than Earth when I hear Tripod Run. Because you didn't just have the ghetto aspect of it, you had the cosmic aspect of it, with the Fender Rose and the Moon. Hey, if you shoot it right, it could look like Barcelona. It looks like it has a Spanish style. Like if you shoot like this only, It'll look like Spain. Look like Spain. Any place that has a fender rose is home. Oh, shit. Well, if you like just, if you like that, man, that's actually a good, it's a 1969. Is that right? Yeah, it's got the sparkle top, which is like, oh, man. I don't know, like, me and my dad, we only ever argue over, like, studio shit. I'm bubbling my shit up, like, a single in the video this month, a single in the video next month. Going the video the next month until we get that album ready, and then we go. Here's the whole body of work together. What? Which one? 
somebody that he wanted to work with was of course you know tribe and anybody and native, from native songs. songs and he's recently built a great relationship with Jerobi white and so when he wanted to work with moni mm -hmm. um, i had known moni from before but I asked Mike Ross to give me her plug. To have them cast down with the movement, you know, Jirobi, Ginko, even Doodlebug from Diggleby. It's like a huge honor because those guys are super influential in just what I do on an everyday basis. Alright, where we at with this thing? Yo. Yo, I'm a child of the quest Provided for the victims Get live off the business trans, yo I gotta tell you for a second, man Why is it crazy? Oh, you did the shit I'm saying, man? Yeah, you're, you're speaking a lot of comedic facts I mean, I can, but it's not brainy Yeah, but pop we're music. To No, 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 but listen This is, this is real hip-hop This is not mm -hmm. Bubblegum pop radio hip hop. Right. So you do your bars are insane. You know what I mean. So don't ever question that. You know if you want to make bubblegum records, we could go to the bubblegum nah, shop. Fuck and, that. Okay. All right. Let's go. Oh. Young God. I love it. Let's press it. Yo, I'm a child of the quest. Is one of dead like yo sky ever? But yo, the kid here, so face it. Now when I hit the stage, I make y'all niggas want to raise weight. These dudes out here. What's it like for you to be able to share your knowledge inside and love of the music with him? Okay, bro, that, that's a great question. For me, it was, you know, growing up in Southgate, California, a, a, a predominantly Mexican neighborhood, we were never taught the word joy. And I think I learned what the word joy means, even more so than when he was born, is to be able to look across the board and see him know what he's doing on that board. It just makes me very proud, like the proudest dad, you know what I mean? Like, it's just, it's a magical feeling to have and experience. So for me, I think that right there in itself is, is really what it all boils down to, is joy. Mellow Man Ace, want to thank you for being a part of On a Sunday Afternoon with your boy Henry G right here on Hot 103. We're about to get into Monte Loco's track featuring yourself and ODM called Latino Hip Hop. We did the damn thing. Yep. Uh, you know, we went. I'm Chuck D from Public Enemy. I'm telling you, check out my man, Mellow Man Ace. This new show, bringing hip hop to the masses. Do not forget to check the show out. It's a must. It's essential.